Welcome back. Okay, so been a while. Um, I've gone through and done a few things. I've just kind of played it on my own. And also, if you've noticed um, in the HUD, there is a new update that came out not too long ago. So, um, some of the dials look new. A lot of the textures in the menus look new. And I think that's great. Um, it looks great. So, anyways, today we're going to go exploring one of the underwater bases. Um, first, I better, I'm going to install upgrade, which is on this side. Okay, let's take a look at the upgrades. So, a storage module, dive compressor, a solar panel. And then that Seamoth Perimeter Defense. We're not, um, we're gonna need that where I'm going. Problem is, is like a lot of these I need where I'm going and I'm... Um, I'll just, I was gonna install a, a sonar thing, but maybe that'll be for one of the deeper parts, so I'll just store it. Okay, so today we're gonna go explore the abandoned base. One of one of them. There's a bunch of abandoned bases. Um, this one took me forever to find, and I'm glad I kind of did it off camera and then can't like didn't save so that I could just come back and do this. Ouch. We are gonna go deep. Way way deep. It's kind of disorienting. I mean, I'm just trying to imagine playing this on like VR. The it's this way. There's all these cool, like, glowy things. Oh, and I just remembered. Um. Oh, no. I guess I don't need it. But that's a... I just thought about that. I'm like, here's a quick place to get deep sea shrooms instead of having to go all the way to the other place. A lot of piranhas and stuff down here. Lava flows. Okay, so we're gonna just follow this left wall for a while. Um, last time I tried to explore this, I just kept going in circles. I couldn't figure out why, but I just ended up keep going in circles. It's mercury, I can't remember if it's magnetite or mercury. Okay, so we go along here. Ah! Yeah, those things are scary. They jump out of them and they will attack the sea moths. So we better keep going. It's like. Okay. Eels. You watch, that one's gonna get ready to go back in. There it goes. Okay, it's quite a ways over here, because, like, last time I keep going in circles, and then I didn't find, like, I, I had never got this far, because it all looked the same. But now I realize that it's not all the same. It's different as we go. Deep sea peepers. Fish. Oh, see that one. Whoa. Um, well, that one was infected with what's called the Kara. Um, it had all like green spots on it, and that's what we're infected with, and that's what we need to figure out how to cure is the Kara disease. I remember that's a dead end. Go around here. I think it's right up here. Here we go. There it is. Erect base. So this is, um, when we were reading the PDAs from the island, this is the base that they went. They're like, oh, we shouldn't have gone this deep. They didn't want us down there. Like, well, no, this isn't, um, this is one of the bases. 
There's another base that specifically references that, like, they didn't want us down there being the warpers. Um, anyways, we're gonna hop out and grab some of these thingies. A nuclear reactor fragment. That'll be nice. Good to hear my birds are still back. Let's see. Okay, sorry, I had to grab something. Okay. Grouping stinger, or like a jellyfish thing. How do I get in? Oh, they're kind of in the way. Glass. See, a lot of this I just never did, uh, like on, I don't know, I guess my bases are very modular and they ha they make sense to me. Hatch doesn't work. I guess I have to get in from over there, look at that. But yeah, my bases are very modular. They don't have like those hallways, which I probably need to have hallways for um, bulkheads. Because it would be nice to have a bulkhead to my bedroom, but problem being is that I don't have the um, space for such. Cool that there's these little starfish everywhere. See, I do this. I do that. <laughs> Oh, and see, there's the water filter base fragment thing that I could scan to get, um... I, I just never could find the water filter anymore, and then I guess it's over here. We have tons of oxygen still. Just have to remember how I'm going and where I'm going. Okay. Lots and lots of nuclear fragments. There's like a ton. Almost too many. It's like, why would you have nuclear fragments up there? We'll have to go through and read that before the end of the episode. Um, I'm debating on whether I should go back because I'm probably going a bit far in, but I should be fine. So we're getting a lot of PDA data. Ooh, what did I get? What 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 did I get? Oh, the re so this I got automatically, but I guess I picked up. I might have picked up something that I already had. Oh, it was probably the water filtration, or I unlocked some of the things because I was frustrated that I couldn't find them. Um, geez, I didn't. Oh, I got stuck. I I touched the stinging needle. Don't touch those because they hurt. I thought I was drowning for a second there, and I'm like, ah! Oh. There it is. I guess those things poison you. I don't think I missed anything. Yeah, because we got the PDAs, we've got the nuclear reactor rods. Uh, bump, bump. Excuse me. Okay, I think we got everything, because we got the beds already, and I probably already unlocked the... Modification station. I could never find this in my previous playthrough, so I was getting frustrated. This is the first time I've actually gone in and seen it and interacted with it. Okay, so now we just have to work on way back. So I'm wondering if there's like a way out closer, because I know that there's more than one exit and, and entrance. Let's see. That pop in though.
Let's see. So he's trying to get into it, and so it takes a while for him to get in a position to recognize that he's going to swoop up into it. Swoop. Okay. Like right now, I probably should install the sonar just so I could take a peek at, um... There's a way out or not. I just wanted the polyaniline on because I thought there was going to be more creatures by the base to do the shockwave thing. There it is, I think. Probably not the one we came up in, but we'll see. Yeah, this is a different one. <laughs> okay, so oh, we're pretty close to the deep sea too. The deep sea one is still like 600 away. We'll just head to the secondary base and then we'll read the logs and... I guess I can show you the second base. I don't remember how far I, sh I got in making it. I did a lot of playing just on my own because I wanted to just goof around. Um, I don't know. I guess I have this like modular way of doing it because I have a power room or reactor room and it's very compact. Um, I should probably stack it, but then I don't... I don't know. I haven't had any creatures like attack my bases yet, so I... Not too worried about it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Stacks. We'll eat a snack. Even though it makes us more thirsty than not. Okay, so we're gonna sit down, go ahead and have a read. He um should have paid attention to what I was getting. So we found a, a lot of Degazi. Yeah, Degazi is the ship before us, so it wasn't us. So they're not going to be swimming around anywhere. Okay. So we've been living on in this habitat for a month now. I thought it might get claustrophobic. Father feels it is. He didn't. He'd tell me it, it was childish, but I start, stared out the window sometimes, thinking how lucky I am to see this planet up close. Because, yeah, this planet is, like, awesome, but it's just sad that it's, like, under hard conditions and stuff like that. And it has Kara. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. Margaret has been bringing back the wildest specimens you can imagine. The fish down here, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes length the length of a whole corridor section. Okay, 99% of, of plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way, but I managed to coax some land plants into growing in indoors, and they don't cover it. And when they don't cover it, well, we eat live specimens. It creeps me out, but it's survival. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father says we need to learn how to take advantage of the ecosystem if we're going to survive. To be honest, I'm just doing it because I enjoy it. It's not easy without a proper lab equipment, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, reveals a spectrograph of analysis that analysis, a, a spectrograph analysis never would. Yeah, that this makes me glad that I, like... I don't know, I guess if I was in a survival situation, I would be glad to have the tools that I grabbed, like the microscope and stuff like that, because that would really change how I could interact with things. Like if I, I could take blood samples and then see if I'm, I could isolate the virus and then like use external creatures to find a cure and see if there is... Because like honestly, the um, reminds me of the penicillin thing is they found that by accident. So 
through like a mold a mold thing. So, based on my wild theories about alien behavior, she hand fed a alien shark. She came home with a fresh cut on her forearm, but didn't say anything about it, of course. But I guess it took a couple of tries. She says once they fed, once they're fed, they're harmless. She brought home all the teeth we need. On the one hand, it's the most like it's the most awesome thing I I've ever heard. And now I'm sitting in this observatory watching biters tap harmlessly against the glass. On the other hand, how many of those incredible creatures did she have to kill to, to just tame one? What effects are we having on the ecosystem here? If only we had an alien containment unit, we I would kill to study these life forms in detail. So... But, okay, they've been living here long enough to know that there's an alien containment unit and that they're sick. I'm wondering if they even got into the base or not, or if they got anywhere. Like, how did they find the alien containment unit that they're talking about? I guess... I guess the, just the wording is misleading, because it's like if they just have regular technology with a, a regular container, that's one thing, but then calling it an alien containment specifically is another thing. Because it used to be just like an aquar like a giant aquarium. Let's see. Oh, so Bart is the younger one, and then there's an older one, or there's Paul is the dad, and Margaret is the the um other stuff. Yeah. Anyways, so they've. What is this that thing? Oh, did. Oh, so this is when they found the, um, the tablet that I found. Could be aliens. Oh. Anyways, so let's see. Let's go to the other one I pulled up. We're already more than 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? We've been at it a here a couple months now, Chief. Look around us. I see the water leaking through the hull. Water outside the hatch. Water above me, water below me. We're drowning. Real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot it, us down is going to do it again and again. Until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would an off switch any more likely... Why would an off switch be any more likely... Any more likely a half kilometer down? It's a hunch. You're mad. I'm going... I have an idea or two. You two are going to follow me. You do. Be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Hmm. You know what Medea told me today? Uh, he's nicknamed Margaret. She wants to build a habitat at 500 below sea level. Kilo east of here. She needs to find... Oh, so wait. We can use these actual things. So 500 deep at um a bit further she needs uh, let's see she needs Bart and I to do it she's got it into her head that she can save us if she just ask, acts recklessly enough and haul I've hauled star walls to Neptune Plasteel the Federation this family operates nine out of ten mining colon or nine mining colonies on the ADRM Meteor Medea thinks we would, she'd be better suited to lead. Her contract says otherwise. He turned 80. Oh wow! So he turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me yet. So they're okay. So they're ba they're basically building a base. Um, 500 like so 500 down. A kilometer southeast, or a kilometer east of here. Sorry, I know I need to end, end the episode. We're getting close. So, um, we were there, a kilometer east. I don't even know which way. Well, I'll have to look. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode.